Bristol Multi-Faith Forum works with all people of faith and those of no faith to create and sustain a conversation that says, how shall we meet our neighbours and live together in peace with each other? How shall we influence and shape our city as a place of peace and harmony and good life for all of us? It is my great pleasure to be the chair of Bristol Multi-Faith Forum and to bring today greetings from all its members to you and their prayers to this issue. In August of this year, after a harrowing, harrowing few hours in the 9-11 Museum in New York, I walked slowly round the memorial at Ground Zero, where the names of all those who died that day are simply written round the edge of a great deep hole. The dark, empty chasm that the act of violence has left in the life of our world. When it happened, we all said, this will change the world. The world will be changed by this act, and it has been. The question of how the world has been changed will soon be overwhelmed. We are soon overwhelmed by the ways in which it has changed. For we saw the launch of a war on terror. We have seen wars and bombs rain upon people. We have seen hundreds and thousands of lives lost we have seen refugees running for safety. We have heard renewed calls for a warlike response this weekend. But my fellow citizens, whatever else we dare say today, when again we stand together to mourn the deaths of innocent people in Beirut and in France, with memories of so many others in our recent past, one thing we can painfully say is that our war on terror is not working. Responding to violence with violence, however righteous it may feel in the moment, however sharp our grief and our outrage, responding to violence with violence only breeds more violence. And we are all caught in that trap. There is something in this world in this time, among peoples, communities, nations, and as a global society, there is something that we are getting very wrong. If we are here this evening to stand together for peace, then we are here to challenge ourselves and our leaders and our world as much as we are here to challenge those who commit acts of terrorism that take the lives of the innocent. <clears throat> who was it who said, be the change you want to see? We are here to stand up for peaceful relations and for a peaceful way of dealing with this world. And surely the challenge of peace is to recognize and give up those natural instincts towards violence and retaliation to give up those ways that we jump to all too quickly with words and actions that damn and extinguish those who commit such acts. And instead, to be committed, utterly committed, to finding another way with one another, to challenge the violence and to, react, to resolve conflict. The challenge of peace is surely to say very loudly and clearly that we value the lives of each and every human being. To say again and again, in everything we do, that life is precious, sacred. All life is precious and sacred. And if we are to bring about peace, we must start with challenging discrimination, exclusion and injustice the places where violence finds its roots and its energy. The challenge of peace is to dare to meet the person who challenges you with humanity, humility, and a commitment to value and respect them, to be different, to be human with each other. The challenge of peace is to live today in the place where you are, 
peacefully with the people you meet. In the centre of Bristol there is a statue to Edmund Burke who said, all it takes for evil to prevail is that good people do nothing. Here today we are to do something. We are to stand up and say we will not let evil prevail in our world. We will live peacefully with each other and we will meet violence with peace and pray for its resolution. Bristol Multifaith Forum, along with you, my fellow citizens, will serve that cause of peace in any and every way we can with our whole being.